It's our favourite Japanese driver by a long, long way, Takasan. How are you feeling, Takasan, ahead of this one? Yeah, ready enough. Um, much rougher than last year, so yeah, going to be a big change. And just how rough is it out there this year? Yeah, it's a lot of. Some stages are okay, um, but most of the stage very rocky. Yeah. Um, a lot of bad rocks and rough, so it's very tricky to avoiding the puncture, and it easily can happen. That could be the key. Aaron, are you well, my friend? I'm good, Colin. It's great to see you. It's wonderful to see you. Your face. I don't really see you. You sit so far back in this wrecking car. I don't see your face. All I hear are those beautiful Irish tones. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to hear your Scottish <laughs> twang also. <laughs> see you guys. Take it easy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ah, it's the champ. Car 17. Here he is. He's only won this event once. Champ, great to see you as always. Uh, listen, we're, we're hearing you are maybe one of the most experienced drivers here this weekend. This is one of the roughest, maybe, Acropolises you've seen? Uh, I think it is, yes. Uh, at least after Ricky, uh, it looks uh, looks challenging. Uh, I think it's a word you uh, hear very often after Ricky, but still, uh, yeah, it's it's for me one step uh, one step rougher than we used to see here in the recent year. Maybe, uh, maybe the organizer have been a bit uh, annoying that we were saying maybe recently that it was not as rough as it used to be. I don't know. And it looked like some stage didn't see much repair compared to uh, last year or a long time. So, yeah, some section uh, yeah, for sure we'll have to survive them. It's going to be interesting. Listen, we went down to have a look this morning at the petrol station stage on the motorway. We were trying to work out if there has ever been a stranger stage in rallying. I'm not sure there is. Can you remember anything more odd than a petrol station stage? <laughs> yeah, we had a couple of weird things to do, but this one is definitely on the top uh, because, yeah, blocking a motorway to make a very strange stage there. I don't know. Monet rules the world, so the sponsor wanted to have us there probably. <laughs> It's very true, and it does rule the world. Uh, best of luck, Chank. Vinny, always good to see you. Just quiet, composed, professional, focused. He's the boy, isn't he? We're impressed by him, champ. Oh, it's Oit Tanak. Let's see how Oit's feeling. Oh, noisy brakes. He's got a stone. Maybe a little stone in those brakes. Noisy brakes there, Oit Tanak. Oit, a bit of time at home. It looks like you've been enjoying yourself at home over the last few weeks. I always enjoy myself at home, not only the last weeks. That's really important, isn't it? Listen, we saw some, um, I think it was Instagram pictures of you and your little man in a car somewhere. Where was that, where you were driving him? He was your, your co-driver somewhere? Tell us about that. Uh, it was a uh, boys' days uh, out, so we were uh, enjoying okay. a bit uh, different stuff. That's great. How old is your little lad? Uh, seven. Great. It's fantastic, isn't it? Those days are great. Uh, tell me about the stages. Right? You've had a good look now, I think, at just about all of the stages. How is it looking here? Uh, all together, uh, it seems quite a bit slower than normally, mm. quite uh, twisty stages, uh, obviously uh, rocky and rough as always, so yeah, the roads have been hit quite strongly with uh, grease, I guess, so <laughs> it's, it looks like grease, uh, it's, it's going to be demanding for sure. That's exactly what we need. I'll just ask you, I'm sure you'll be asked a million times, both yourself and Martin, 100%? Otherwise we wouldn't be here. That is true, that is true. Good luck, boys, good to see you, Martin. Danny, good to see you. Again, just looking magnificently healthy and ready for this week. Yeah, I'm always ready, eh? Yeah. Well, you're never anything other than ready. You're so, you keep yourself really fit, don't you? You do a lot of, what, cycling and running? Yeah, I keep my life busy. When I'm not in the rally, I do a sport I like, so... Yeah, and we're hearing that maybe you're getting to meet Mark Cavendish this evening. Yeah. Did you follow the Tour de France? Yeah, I'm uh, really excited yeah. for that. It will be super nice and... Uh, I think we will spend a little bit of time uh, together in the bike, so I think it's, it's, it's really nice because to have a, to have a little bit of time with Cavendish and uh, to have a picture with him is, is like a dream because he's like a big, a big guy in the, uh, in the cyclist uh, family, you know? Yeah, he's massive, isn't he? Uh, what about this one then, Danny? We know that you've had podiums here in the past. Uh, what can you do here this weekend? What are you expecting to do? Honestly, it will be really tough. Uh, this year is really, really tough, the rally, and uh, I think much more than the previous years. Uh, and it's in, we, I think we, we take a really good pace notes and all, but it will be difficult uh, if it uh, didn't have any issue. Already the first stage is hard and uh, second stage also, so they didn't repair a lot of the, the roads and it's slippery with a lot of stones, so it will be something. It needs someone 
with a good brain and a lot of experience. That might be Danny Sordo this weekend. Yeah, I will try my best. Oh, enjoy your cycle this evening. He's so rude. He just handed me that cap and said, I thought you would want the cap because you're looking a bit bald these days. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Well, I don't think so. He's honest. Oh, you're so rude. I'm just sorry, mate. I get slightly obsessed by your co-driver socks. Has he got a pair on today? Yeah, he's got a pair on. That's good. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of this one, Thierry? Yeah, so far so good. I mean, we come straight from some holidays, short yeah, holidays, but that. some holidays and, uh, yeah, looking forward. I mean, um, looks incredibly challenging out there in terms of roughness and, uh, yeah, loose stones, lots of loose stones. So um, it's going to be exciting. But what a nice position to be in, in the championship. I mean, it's, you're in a strong place now, and, and to have that little buffer right now with such a difficult event ahead of you, goodness me, it's a good place to be. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're in the best possible position, uh, that's for sure. However, it's a uh, few, few more challenging events to come, so uh, we need to keep it uh, smooth and, uh, yeah, just enjoy our run through. Don't try to, to make too much, and, uh, yeah, fingers crossed, because... It's going to be a, a, a bit of a lottery in terms of punctures this weekend. Lots of stones, so easily to damage a radiator, or some water pipes, or, or even a steering or whatever. So we have to uh, have our eyes wide open and uh, try to avoid as many stones as we can. That's a very good approach indeed. Uh, best of luck out there, Thierry. Good to see you, Martin. Always gorgeous to see you and your sock collection. Oh, Welsh flag, Welsh flag. We saw a lot of that at the weekend in the ERC. Elvin Evans, straight from Keredigian, where you were making a guest superstar appearance, to Greece. Uh, quite a difference, really, isn't it? It's just the same. The stage is, it's rallying, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, just quickly, what did you make of Keredigian? It certainly looked like a good event. Yeah, I didn't follow so much. I was down on the Friday night, um, uh, which, yeah, looked amazing, uh, in fairness, but I was pretty busy preparing on Saturday to come here. So, yeah, I didn't uh, spend get to spend too much time down there, unfortunately. But, yeah, it looked like a, an amazing job again by the, the guys that organised the rally. You feeling good ahead of this one, then? Are you feeling well prepared? Ah, uh, Yeah, as prepared as we can be. I think it's it's looking difficult out there. That's uh, the bottom line. It's probably the roughest rally we've seen for, for quite some time, I would say. But is that what you need now at this point in the season? You know, you need a little bit of jeopardy in there. You know, if a bit of luck your way, and there could be a massive swing this weekend. Well, yeah, but uh, when it's like this, it can go either way. It's a little bit of a lottery, you know, when it's like this. So um, it can all the also put the, the nail in the coffin, as they say. So uh, let's see, we we have to use our best judgment and do the best job we can. As you always do. How much are you boys looking forward to meeting Mark Cavendish this evening? I'd imagine, Scotty, you are particularly looking forward to meeting the legend. Yeah, yeah, definitely the Manx missiles in town. So, uh, it's a yeah, no, looking forward to seeing him. He's a legend, and um, yeah, it'll be great to ride with him tonight. Mountain biking? You're more of a mountain biker than a road biker, aren't you, Alvin? I do a bit of both, uh, but yeah, tend to lean more towards a mountain bike here. Yeah. Do you follow the Tour de France? I don't, if I'm honest. It's too long. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I agree. Uh, boys, best of luck this weekend. See you this evening, Scotty. I might join you for 100 metres or so. Oh, my word. How exciting is this? It's the return of Virtue. The return of Fabrizia. I'm excited. Virtue, how excited are you about this weekend? I'm very, very excited and happy at the same time. It's, it's a dream pairing. Fabrizia Pons, it's so good to see you back in a top rally car. Thank you very, very much. It's fantastic for me. How many times have you done this event? Uh, four or five. How is it looking out there about you? We hear it's quite challenging and quite rough. It's quite rough and uh, it's big, big stones. Okay. But it looks very nice, especially this stage was very nice. We were just saying that this, this one we will enjoy. I think you'll enjoy all of them. How was the coffee this morning? You've had plenty of coffee to keep you going? It's very really important, isn't it? Three. And we have cookies. Actually, I'll give you some cookies. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we've had no lunch. I am the WRC's official food thief. Cookies would be good. What's Bart you got for us here now? Oh, let's hope they're tasty cookies, but they won't be. They'll be healthy ones. Healthy ones aren't they're so tasty. Oh! Produced in my farm. Are these from your farm? Yeah, I produce the wheat and I produce the cookies. So I hope you like them. You are a multi-talented person. Well done. I'm going to try one now. I'm going to try one now. So rally food.
caution, lady driver, lady team, best of luck, girls. It is, it is so wonderful to see you both back. We see a lot of ladies out here. That's what we are aiming for, what, are, what we are dreaming for. Hopefully soon we'll have more ladies out here. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got this wonderful initiative from the FIA as well. We're going to see plenty of women crews when we get to CER. Uh, I'm going to try one. I'll let you know how I get on with it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Best of luck. Bordwick Georg. Sorry, I'm struggling. Did you know that Birchu setting Kaya was a farmer and she makes her own cookies? Did you know that, Georg? Who? Birchu. Birchu. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That's all the stages wrecked. Now, how's it looking? Uh, I would say it looks rougher than past years. Uh, I don't know, I guess the weather's been different this year, but yeah, it uh, looks properly rough. It's a difficult challenge for the cars this year. How would you go about winning this one? Uh, I guess uh, that's, that's the big question. I mean, there's two options you can take. You can basically risk it all and just go flat out all the time or uh, try to be a bit smart. And uh, yeah, I think the challenge will be to you know, pull yourself back a bit uh, in, in certain places, but you sort of need to pick this place as well. It's absolutely right. And the big challenge is getting hold of some of these cookies this weekend. They are really quite nice. Yeah. It's got a, 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 no, he's not getting any of it. It's mine. No, no, they're mine. I'm, I'm a food thief. I'm not a food giver. I'm a food thief. Um, that would be outside assistance, illegal wrecking, all those things. I'm not helping you, boys. <laughs> Typical Scotsman. Yes, 100%. Well done, got it in one, thanks boys. It is my favourite Sammy, and this weekend for sure, my favourite Finnish crew. Sammy Pyre, lovely to see you. What a weekend we have in store here. How are you feeling? Did you enjoy the little break between here and Finland? Yeah, the break was really little for me, yeah. personally. But yeah, I was enjoying some, uh, some time uh, doing something different, so it's fine. Doing something different, but similar. You were still driving, weren't you? You were still enjoying. It was like what we would call in the UK a busman's holiday. More or less doing your normal thing, but relaxing. Yeah, exactly. But it was still quite different, like so, so different car. Uh, home rally, just uh, driving with a, with a friend, without pace notes, having fun. And of course, still we compared sometimes to the other, other drivers, but it was good fun. Good. And this weekend, obviously, we're hearing it's very, very rough out there. It could be quite a challenging one. Yeah, I think it will be. Uh, I think Greece is always really challenging, but uh, I think especially this time, uh, like many even more experienced drivers, uh, drivers are saying it's really rough this year. So it really is. Any of you looking forward to it? As always. Yeah, fantastic. Boys and girls, best of luck to my favourite Sammy. I've elevated you now to my favourite Sammy. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you, girls. <laughs> We've already seen you today, mon ami. Yes, I did see you, yeah. I'm not easily scared, but sometimes I get a little bit scared. You were. You madman. Uh, see you before. <laughs> Thank goodness you did see me. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Uh, mon ami, we've come to Greece. You're on a fantastic run of form, full of confidence. But this is going to be a tough weekend. Yes, it's going to be a tough weekend. Uh, we have to be smart, to be fair. Uh, it's really rough in some places, more than the previous years. So it's going to be really interesting. Uh, but uh, I hope our road position could be also a, a good point for us uh, before the rally, so we'll see. Good. And how are we feeling with the car? You know, the car seems to be pretty good the last few rallies. Do we think it's tough enough and strong enough for this one? Uh, I hope we are. We are. Uh, to be fair, I think the team have been working on it to, to be liable on this rally. I know it's going to be a, a tough one. Uh, so, so, but we'll see. You never know, you know. It's motorsport, so everything can happen. How tall are you, by the way? What height are you? 180. You sit very close to the steering wheel, don't you? You think? No. I'm Your legs were right up underneath it there. No, look, it's just because I'm, I'm, st I'm standing like that. Oh, and by the way, by the way, <clears throat> here's the thing. I have four dogs at home. And when I take my dogs for a walk, they walk. That's why they have four legs. Yeah. What, in France, you put them in backpacks? You take them in backpacks yeah. for a walk? Yeah, because it was too technical. No, really, it was in, we were just hiking through the big rocks. And at the beginning, small rocks was okay, medium rocks was okay, but at some point it was so big that he, he was just uh, just scared. And there was some big holes. I was like, mm, I don't want him to, to fall in. So I'm like, we're gonna just take him backpack, and and then after that he was walking. When you start on this this over kind of indulgence of dogs, it never ends. The dog will now expect like a like a king to be carried around everywhere. Yeah, maybe, but to be fair, uh, I think you just say now you walk and he walk. 
<laughs> if you haven't seen that, go and have a look. It's on his Instagram account. It's a very cute picture. One of the cutest pictures of the summer, mon ami. It was lovely. Good. See you later, boys. Take it easy. Comment ça va, le monster? Uh, très bien, et vous? Oui, oui, très bien, merci. C'était uh, une uh, très jolie journée. Joli, journée très jolie. Oui, il faisait très beau. Oui, très beau et, et pas, pas hot. Not too hot. Uh, anyway, <laughs> how are you, Gregoire Monster? Yeah, very good. Um, this stage is not too rough compared to some others we we reeked yesterday or two days ago. So, yeah, it's a quite enjoyable one. It's going to be a tough weekend, though, by all accounts. It really is a, a challenging itinerary we have this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think it's uh, the roughest uh, from the three uh, edition we we will do. So. Yeah, I think you, you want to be fast, but you need to, to be a bit cautious with the car. You need to be clever and intelligent. You are both of those things. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, have a good result if we, we play it smart, but it's difficult, you know, when you fight with the, the top guns, you they of course go very fast, so you want to follow, but uh, how much can you do? How much? Well, I tell you what Lulu can do. He can do a lot of rubbing out there. There's an awful lot of action going on there, Lulu. Uh, what are you doing? Which notes are you changing? Are you remembering what he told you to change? What, you're going through a lot. I just uh, wrote down a lot of changes on the notes, but I don't have time to erase it during the stage, so I just... It's messy a lot, like, this, like you can see, so I just erase it and then rewrite cleanly, so it's easy to read during the rally. He's clever and intelligent as well. That's a good pairing. Best of luck, boys. Good to see you. Busy, busy with the rubber, look, busy, busy, busy. It's our favourite UK gardener, Gus Greensmith. Gus, how are you doing? It's always good to be back here in Greece, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of my uh, one of my favourite rallies. Pretty cool, looks really rough this year, so even better. Yeah. How are you feeling? Are you feeling prepared? It was quite a long break, wasn't it? Did you, did you manage to keep your eye in during the break? Yeah, went on holiday, relaxed a little bit, came back and, yeah, ready to go again now. Where did you go for your holidays? Croatia. Was it an excuse to add to your sunglasses collection? No, no, I haven't bought sunglasses for nine months now. Something's Whoa. going wrong, I know, crazy. Is there a Sunglasses Anonymous for people who have got a bit of an addiction to them that you can go to to get help? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe I need to go. That's <laughs> always good to see you. Best luck this week. Good to see you, Ernest. How are we, Josh? Good, good. You? Yeah, not as good as you. Look at you. I mean, you're looking young. You're looking like a superstar. You're looking relatively handsome. You know, you've clearly enjoyed a little break. Only relatively, mate. What is interesting is that every other driver looks as if they've been sitting on a tropical beach for three weeks. You're, you're from Ireland, you haven't, have you? No, we don't. We don't. We don't get that. Scottish people don't either. Well, actually, you, you maybe do. A little bit, a little bit. But you're quite right. Um, it's rough and tough out there this weekend. We're hearing as big a challenge maybe as we've seen for a long time. Yeah, it seems to be. It's our first time here, so it's uh, a baptism of fire as such. So. It's going to be tricky, it's going to be tough, demanding, but uh, yeah, it's going to be survival, I think, to, to try to get to the finish. But yeah, that's what Acropolis is about. With it being your first time here, how much preparation did you do? How much video analysis did you partake in? We we did the recce, recce last year, so we had, we had some that was for 2023. So yeah, we could watch some boards from that. But other than that there, yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult, obviously, trying to join the stages from 21 and 22 to, to try and make a complete stage out of these stages. So no, it's... Uh, it's going to be a demanding week. A different approach, isn't it, to this one? Yeah, it's back to maybe Sardinia and Portugal type of uh, type of mode coming off the back of the fast rally. So, uh, yeah, we have to be patient. Looking forward to seeing how you get on. Best of luck. Thank you. Good to see you, James. You well? What's that top you're wearing? What's that top you're wearing? What's that from? Is that from Mexico? No. No, it's team top. Team team wear. What was it? Don't know. I, I really need to be a little bit more aware of these things, don't I? Don't you? That's a lovely top, though. If you're on a beach in Bali, it is Johan Rossell. Lovely to see you, Johan Rossell. <laughs> it is lovely to see Why are you laughing? It is always lovely to see you. It's the life. It's the life. No. It, is, it is the life. We have a good life, don't we? We really do. We're working up here in these beautiful mountains. Uh, a big week ahead of you, though, Johan. Lots of pressure on you. For sure. Uh, not. Uh, I have... I uh, I need to 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 focus on my um, my rest and uh, take uh, stage par, uh, by stage. Mm -hmm. For sure, it will be not easy, uh, very rough. Uh, for sure, I think uh, everybody says the the same, but uh, and it's the same for everybody. Yeah, the plan is to do no mistake uh, and uh, let's see. But for me, I think uh, the the car work 
very well on this uh, on this road this year, and uh, I am confident. Yeah, it, it seems to be strong now, your car, and that's what you're going to need this weekend, aren't you? You're going to need a strong, reliable car. Yeah. If the car doesn't break, you will be right there at the end of the weekend. Yeah, for sure. I think it's a very strong car, and uh, in the past we are very fast here, and uh, we have never win, but uh, the plan is to play for the win. But for sure, if you said uh, I want to just win, it's impossible because the road is so so difficult. Uh, I think the plan is to 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 prove my my speed and to work very well with the team and. Uh, Let's see. To prove your intelligence, my friend. That's the big thing this weekend. Uh, best of luck, boys. Gorgeous to see you both. Ah, oh, Lowry Yuna. Lovely to see you. Yeah, it's nice to see you too. I always like seeing your car on recce, but th th it looks different. Looks different. Your co-driver looks different this time. Yeah, that's true. Mm, okay, okay. Is there a story there? Do we know why, why have you changed co-drivers? Any reason? No, 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 just uh, anything about the story, yeah. But aren't you almost co-driving royalty? Aren't you a prince of, of co-driving? Isn't your dad a king of co-driving? You can say so. Ah, yeah, we're just trying to think whether there's been other dads and sons in co-driving. There's lots of drivers, yeah. but not many co-drivers whose fathers and then their sons then went into co-driving. Can you think of anyone else? Not at the moment. That's, a question. That's your challenge for the weekend, is to find out for us. Lowry, how are you feeling? All good, all good. Yeah, it's nice to be here and uh, yeah, it's extremely rough conditions uh, this year. Last year it was quite okay, but now we will see. It's raining now. I just felt some rain. <laughs> Hopefully, we hope that, but but I think it, there is not Porygast uh, anymore, so yeah. yeah. I'm just about to get wet. Uh, good luck. Lovely to see you, Prince of Rallying, Prince of Co-Driving. Good to see you. Jan, good to, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, we've seen some really good pace from you over the last few rallies. Are we going to see the same here in Greece? Uh, I would like, to be honest, but it's my first time here in Greece. Uh, so we're doing all the recce, uh, a lot of work to do with the pace notes to have more or less everything clear. But as you know, first time on a rally, it's everything new for you. So I think that we need to be smart, try to learn and have a good pace, but try to stay without problems. That is the key. Now, can I just remove your belt a little bit? Look, look at this wonderful, it is my favorite sponsor. I love the Philippines. I have to tell you, I've followed some Philippine accounts on Instagram. I'm going, I'm going for my holidays. It's a beautiful looking place, isn't it? Yes, um, I'm also planning to go there on December because it, there is good weather there on December and on Spain, it's a bit uh, cold. So it's, it's a good time to go there. Can you get me a deal on somewhere nice to stay? Can you get me a cheap rate in a hotel by the sea somewhere? We can fix that, but maybe without the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, my friends. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Lambros Afanasoulos. It's always so good to see you. Back out again this year in a, what, in a Hyundai again? No, no, it is called oh. um, uh, Evo. So I think uh, we're going to have some fun this year. It is always so good to see you. You're, you're now a little older than when you won this a few years ago, but a little more experienced and a lot wiser. Is that fair to say? Uh, I have to say so, and uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes, uh, because this rally, I think, needs a little bit of uh, strategic plan, and it's a little bit rougher than the previous years, uh, because of the loose rocks, not of the surface, and uh, we have to take some care of the car. You still get as excited as you always did with this event, don't you? Yes, of course, more. more. I think it's getting more and more every year, yes. Fantastic stuff, always good to see you. How's your brother, by the way? We haven't seen him yet, is he? I haven't seen him yet also because the last two weeks he's away and uh, I'm here wrecking, so I will see him today. He is the second most important man in this rally. After me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you, boys. For the family, for the family. <laughs> Number one family in all of Lutraki. We love them, we really do. Oh, best of luck. Yeah. Yes. Hope so. Down in Lutraki? Hope so. Ooh, that's exciting. That might be a little bit of an exclusive for us. No, no, no. I'm just uh, hoping to be in Lutraki. I don't know something yet. We love it down there. It's a beautiful place. Take it easy, boys. Good to see you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Well, there we are, folks. What was the word? The word of the afternoon was challenging.
It really is going to be rough. Uh, and it's going to be a long weekend. We have some very long days here. Uh, my friend, you have been sat here for many hours today. It's been a busy day for you. Very long day, many hours, many hours up here. I'm sure there have been. I'm sure there have been. He, he was telling me, yeah, he's just gone all camera shy. He really has. Uh, he speaks perfect English. Maybe not understanding speak, myself. Don't speak, no speak, no speak. You do speak. Because you speak. busy. Oh, you're busy, busy. Yes. Yes, very busy. It's been fantastic to catch up with our drivers after such a long summer break. They looked healthy, didn't they? They looked relaxed. They looked ready for a tough weekend here at the Acropolis Rally of the Gods. Do you know what else might just mix things up a little bit? Have a look over there. Look, that's proper rain coming down now as well. Proper rain. There was no rain in the forecast, but up in the mountains here at any time, the weather might change. Might that throw a little bit of a spanner in the works this weekend. I can't wait. It's going to be fun.